In cool temperate gardens, humid conditions see our tasty tomatoes suffer fungal foliage attacks. To fight it, remove lower leaves to increase airflow and irrigate at ground level. Apples and pears have stopped growing and are starting to harden off, so it's time for a summer prune. Remove suckers, dead and diseased wood and shorten lanky branches back to healthy buds. It's a great time to start thinking about winter crops. Sowing seeds of winter cabbage, Brussels sprouts and cauliflower into punnets now will give you a head start when the weather cools. Warm temperate gardeners sharpen those secateurs. It's rose pruning time. A light haircut, removing spent flowers and cutting blooms for vases encourages a flush of autumn flowers. If your toms are suffering from black, soggy, sunken areas at the base of fruit, varieties like joy, caused by a lack of calcium, consistent watering is the key to stopping the rot. Have a scratch in the soil. Is it damp below the surface or is water beating and running off? If your soils are repelling water, give them a good fork and add some compost or organic soil wetter. In subtropical gardens, yellowing older leaves on banksias, grevilleas, rhododendrons, gardenias and citrus is a sign of iron deficiency. So treat them to a dose of iron chelates at recommended rates. Get your orders in for certified virus-free strawberry runners now, in time to get them into the ground next month. Varieties like Joy, Loana and Red Gauntlet are sweet as in this climate. As flowering finishes, give mock orange Morea paniculata a good prune. This not only shapes your shrub, it also prevents them setting seed that can then spread into the bush by birds. Tropical gardeners grab the spade and get splitting. Clumps of garlic and onion chives can be dug up and divided now. Tough and tasty, they make great borders and gap fillers in the garden. Looking for a mint that loves heat and humidity? Try Egyptian mint. With a pharaoh-friendly apple mint flavour, it's perfect in sweets, savouries or in a cooling summer cordial. Use heavy falls of rain to identify drainage issues in your patch. Concentrate on improving areas where water pools and direct excessive flows to thirsty beds using swales and banks. In arid zones, plant out another round of terrific tomatoes. Best to go in now are cherry toms. They're quick growing, more disease resistant and can crop into May or even early June. Harvested a huge haul of herbs? Well, get drying. Hang herbs like rosemary, sage, thyme and bay leaves in an airy, well-ventilated spot away from direct light to dry and then store for later use. Rub, Chinese, Romanesco or good old sprouting. Whichever broccoli you love, get them in the ground now to ensure they mature over the cooler months. Blood and bone will kick them along.